In the past few years, indications for the use of air polishing technology has moved from supra-gingival gingival, to sub-gingival use. And if you recall from class, the supra-gingival air polishing uses a soap, sodium bicarbonate, which is a really large particle and very abrasive. And pretty much um, you can only use that on the uh, coronal surfaces of the teeth to remove um, biofilm and especially remove heavy stain. Now, in the past um, few years, we found that using a subgingival air polisher with a glycine powder, which has a very small particle, they're smooth and they're round, and they're 80% less abrasive than the sodium bicarbonate. And we can use that subgingively. Uh, as I said, glycine powders are approximately 80% less abrasive than the sodium bicarbonate. Um, we are restricted um, by the Food and Drug Administration to five millimeters pocket depth. That's the maximum that we can use our subgingival air polishing. And the person that you choose to use this procedure on has to have at least three millimeters of um, bone. Okay, anything less than three millimeters uh, of bone support is not, the person is not a good candidate for air polishing. So it's really great. Um, we use a flexible plastic tip. This tip is 10 millimeters in length. And the glycine powder, of course, um, you put into the uh, airflow. This happens to be Airflow Perio. Um, Hugh Freedy manufactures this and it's a very good um, piece of equipment. So I'm gonna go in the mouth and show you how to use this. Um, it's pretty simple, it's pretty fast. The idea behind this um, new technology is to air polish before you do any of your debridement. Of course, air polish will remove the biofilm, but it certainly will not remove calculus. So in order to um, speed your treatment along, this would help to remove the biofilm and then you would just need to go in and selectively remove um, calculus deposits. So let's go in the mouth and let me show you how this works. Okay, so we, we know that we have a 10 millimeter plastic flexible tip that can be placed subgingively. So the idea here is to gently place it in the pocket until you feel that junctional epithelium at the base of the pocket. You want to make sure you have your HVE available. This HVE is really important in removing um, those aerosols. So it is an indication uh, for use when you're subgingival air polishing. So I'm going to turn this on. Once we've reached the base of the pocket, we want to make sure that we withdraw the tip about a millimeter. And you can move this tip in a vertical motion, but never a horizontal motion. The powder is expelled from the sides of the tip and the water comes out the end of the tip. So we're only going to treat each site for five seconds. So I will hit the treadle five seconds for this site and stop. Okay, and we're going to find another area. I think we have a pocket here on the distal portion of this tooth and approximately. So we're going to again place the tip till we feel that junctional epithelium at the base of the pocket. Withdraw one millimeter. Treat for five seconds. and stop. We want to, there's a little hesitation in the water and the powder flow. We want to make sure that's completely stopped before we withdraw the tip completely. Okay, for demonstration purposes, let's do that again. We're going to insert the tip subgingively so we feel the base of the pocket. Withdraw a millimeter and treat for five seconds. Like I said, you can move it in a vertical motion. 
Let's try it again. We're going to move it around to another area on this tooth. Insert the base of the pocket, withdraw a millimeter, and treat for five seconds only. Stop. Wait for the hesitation of the powder and the water, and you can withdraw the tip. Now one nice thing to know about this is it can use it, unlike the sodium bicarbonate in your supra gingival air polishing, you can use this on all restorations, you can use it on titanium of your implants, and you can also use it on the cementum or the dentin of the tooth. It's so non-abrasive or low abrasive that you can use it on all those uh, surfaces and all of those restorations. So, that's an added plus to this subgingival air polish.